Republicans love private prisons. Of course, under President Barack Obama, DOJ say they will be phasing private prisons out in the federal prison system. Trump wins. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, oh, bring them back. Now what is happening is when it comes to corporate income taxes, they are looking to convert themselves into real estate investment trust or REITs under current IRS rules. These trusts are exempt from federal corporate income tax. The big corporate tax breaks lead to even bigger profits for private prisons across the country. My next guest wants to end that. Congressman Gregory Meeks of New York, a senior member of the House Financial Services Committee, introduced a bill to put an end to these tax breaks. He joins us now via Skype from New York. Congressman Meeks, glad to have you back on the show. Um, Good to be with you, Roland. We have seen since Trump's election the stocks of private prisons skyrocket. Through the roof. And, uh, and if you look at these private prisons, which houses, you know, almost three quarters of those individuals who are undocumented, uh, they're, they're, you know, immigrants, uh, and as well as 15% of our federal prisons, uh, they've gone through the roof, and there has been a clear uh, investigation showing that there are no cost benefits to the people. In fact, that the facilities are worse. Uh, they ran worse than most other federal facilities. There's more assaults uh, that are committed therein. Uh, and then still, they are getting these tax breaks, so that they have these huge profits. That must stop. And uh, it seems clear that the intent of the REITs were not for uh, prisons, uh, you know, and or to continue uh, human misfortune. So uh, that's why me and Senator Wyden has come forward with the bill to prevent and stop uh, this uh, loophole to the tax code. Clearly, what we're also seeing is that, uh, of course, the lobbyists are racing through the halls of Congress trying to get as many perks as possible. This tax reform bill is not about the average consumer. Uh, there are lots of sweet, uh, sweetheart deals in here for these corporate interests. Absolutely. I mean, that's why we say that the tax bill that they're going through now, that uh, they basically keep undercover, uh, is a scam. Uh, and it's scamming the American people. And uh, so uh, I want to make sure that uh, we get as many of the uh, scam items in there out. And one that's hidden is for these private prisons. Uh, you know, there's another bill that someone else is putting out, of which we will probably support also ending private prisons altogether because the Obama administration, as you said, uh, they did a finding to end private, not to use private prisons at all. So we've got to make sure that we bring these things to light. That's why your program is so important uh, to all of America, uh, so that uh, bells like this can get the kind of exposure, get support by the average Americans, because uh, they say that this is supposed to be a middle-class tax cut. Well, it's not benefiting the middle class. Uh, and, and so what do you uh, expect to happen to you? Do you expect uh, Republicans to, to go along with this tax break? Uh, for private prisons, or will they have some guts and say, wait a minute, this has nothing to do with uh, middle income uh, Americans or low income Americans. This is about enriching uh, corporate interest. Well, it, my hope really, uh, Roland, lies in, uh, you know, the Senate, when they come out with their tax proposal, that we can get some things included therein because it seems as though they uh, have closer numbers in the Senate. And as far as negotiations are concerned with the House, the House bill seems to be going to be completely a, a, a catastrophic bill. Uh, and so I'm hoping that we can get in, working with Senator Wyden, to have it in a Senate uh, negotiations. And then when it comes back to the House, uh, we can negotiate it in conference to make sure that uh, uh, we've exposed what was bad and they and try to pull it out in negotiations. All right, then. Congressman Gregory Meeks, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Good being with you, Roland. Thank you. Uh, real quick on my panel here, this tax, trust me, the lobbyists are having a field day mm -hmm. uh, putting all their own special things into this bill. And, and, and that's the problem here. This is not about the consumer. No. This is not, I mean, the average consumer does not get, does not have lobbyists fighting on behalf of them. Corporate interests are running amuck when it comes to this, this so-called tax well, reform. There's nothing new. The yeah. corporate has always had their hand in the no, I know that. Like, I'm just simply stating why, facts. I know, and that's why it's 70,000 pages long. But I just want to go back to your previous setup when you said, you know, this is a Republican issue. I definitely agree. Republican Party is too cozy with private prison companies. No, no, no. I said this is a Republican bill. No. This no. is a Republican bill. No, go and, 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 yes, and Republicans have been very supportive of these private prisons. And so the setup was the Obama administration uh, said they were, going, they were going to get rid of them in the federal system. They brought, were brought back under okay. Trump and Jeff Sessions.
Can I say two things on that point? I agree with you. There are a lot of Republicans who are too cozy with them. There are definitely some like myself. Rand Paul has said that profit should not get in the way of justice. So it's not all Republicans. And back to the Obama I didn't say all Republicans. Okay, okay Republicans. So I just want to make sure that's clear. <laughs> but, but let, me go back. let me go back. But, but Brandon, yeah. Brandon, 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 hold on one second. I'll let you do point. that. Yeah. But you have this habit of thinking no. when I say Republican, you're like, well, you, it's not all. The reality is, is here. H have you seen a groundswell of Republicans in the House or the Senate tell Jeff Sessions, Get rid of those private prisons nope, uh, in and federal systems. No, so it's not a okay. question of all. So it's, but when I say Republicans, you have I mean the majority. We talked the previous segment about Maryland HBCUs. You did not mention Democrat. You know that word didn't come out your mouth. Now you're Republican every other word. So let me go back to you talking about Obama. Dude, the last section I talked about Democrats. Uh, 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 you touched them. You grazed them, bro. Oh my Let's God. Let's go back. I mean, you, 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 you can you no, stop no, whining? No, let me go back. I talk, me I mentioned Democrats, yes, and yes, then you yes, say, "Oh, no, you didn't mention them enough." The first word out your mouth Jesus, the whining. The first word out your segment. This segment was Republican. That was the first word. But anyways, because I Republicans get, and, have been and supporting the, private and prisons. The elected officials in Maryland, the Democrats, have been blocking the advance. Oh my issues. God! Back to Obama Your whining is ridiculous. Let me go back to Obama administration. Please hurry up, real quickly. First Jesus off, the decision, the decision to allow these REITs to be able to uh, take advantage of by prisons was something that the IRS did on the Obama administration in 2013. It could have been stopped, it was not. Secondly, to your point about the Obama administration being the one that you know came forward to block this, they did it on the waning days last August. After seven years in office, a lot of us think you know in a effort because they knew that, that it would is, be pushed back. That is incorrect. When, when Attorney what? General Eric Holder did not leave in the waning no. months. When a t Attorney yeah. General Eric Holder was the one who made the announcement, they were phasing out private prisons on the federal level. Yeah, that was the, not in the, the final the months. They but the actual policy came forward. Oh, my God. Like he here. announced it. He, the intent, okay, but the, Karen, the, the, impact, the impact of it came I, out. I, I can't. End. It with was, the whining. No, it's not whining. It's facts. Can't go no, ahead. Facts. no okay, facts. Wait, 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 wait. I have, to, I, have, I, have, I have to calm this down. No, First no, of no, all, no, but it's, f go ahead. Right, First right. of all, this isn't, this is a money issue. Mm -hmm. This is a shareholder value issue. These private prisons make a fortune. They are great investments that investment advisors are pushing folks into because they are guaranteeing profits. Both sides, Democrats and Republicans, have their hand in the kitty of private prisons. This is an excellent bill. I hope it gets on the floor. I hope it gets into the Senate bill because this is an opportunity because in no way, shape, or form should these prisons be classified as real estate investment trusts. Gotcha. Shelly, go to my iPad. New York Times story here. August 2013, in this article, Eric Holder, this is the New York Times, okay? You has to phase out use of private prisons for federal inmates. It's dated August 18, 2016. August of 2013 yes. is when Attorney General Eric Holder made the announcement of what they were going to do. That's when he made the announcement. I agree. Coming up next. Did it in 2016. Yeah, dude, but okay. he made the announcement three okay. years well, earlier. Well, said, Stop whining. Well, well, I said Jesus. Eight days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got a fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.